This is section 3.2, quadratic functions. In this video, we're going to go through number 87 in your book, and this is an example of a word problem involving our quadratics. So this problem tells us to find the dimensions of the, rec of the rectangular corral producing the greatest enclosed area when it's split into three pens of the same size and we're given 500 feet of fencing. All right, so there's a whole lot going on in this problem. So the first thing we're going to do is just draw out everything that they're telling us so we can visualize it, and then also so that we're able to see what they're actually asking us for. So they tell us that we have a rectangular corral, so something like this. And they also tell us that it's split into three pens of the same size, so something like that. And what they're actually asking us for is for the greatest enclosed area of our corral. All right, so we know we're dealing with area, area of a rectangle. Remember, to find the area of a rectangle, we just multiply the width by the length. In this case, I'll name my width x and my length y. So that means that my area of this rectangle is just x times y. All right, but what I have here so far, I'm not able to solve for anything. I have too many unknowns. So let's go back to the word problem and see if we can find another relationship between x and y so that maybe I can solve for one variable, plug it into this function, and then solve for the other one. All right, so look at what else they tell us. They tell us that we are given 500 feet of fencing. So that means that this length plus this length plus all the ones in the middle, all that fencing is equal to 500. So 500 is equal to this length y plus this one, so 2y plus how many x lengths do I have? I have four x's. All right, so now I have two functions in terms of x and y. To solve for this, I can solve for one variable in this function and then plug it into my area formula to get it in terms of just one variable. So to do that, let's solve for y. To solve for y, we'll get 2y is equal to 500 minus 4x, and dividing by 2, this will become 250 minus 2x. All right, so let's take this y that we just solved for and plug it into our area formula. When we do that, we'll get area is equal to x times 250 minus 2x, which becomes 250x minus 2x squared, or rearranging it just so that it's in standard form, minus 2x squared plus 250x. All right, and at this point, you might see where this is going. This looks really similar, or really familiar. We have a quadratic here. All right, but how does quadratic relate to what they're asking us? Well, if we go back to the problem to see what they're originally asking us for, they're asking us to find the greatest enclosed area. So we're looking for some maximum value. If you notice, we have this quadratic. We see that it's negative, so it's opening downward like this the maximum value of this quadratic is going to be our vertex point. So to find the dimensions of our corral to give us a max area, we're just going to solve for whatever this vertex coordinate is. And if you remember, to solve for the x coordinate of our vertex, we just use the formula h is equal to negative b over 2a. Plugging these values from our function into this formula, we'll get negative b, or negative 250, over 2a, or 2 times negative 2, is equal to h, and solving this out, we'll get 250 over 4. All right, so here is the x value of our corral. To find our y value, we can just take this, plug it into this function, and solve for our y. So another arrow. When we plug this in, we'll get y is equal to 250 minus 2 times x, or 2 times 250 over 4. Solving this out, we have 250 minus 2's can cancel. I'm going to 250 over 2 which is just 125, that gives me a y value of 125 feet. And that's it. So our y dimension that we found was 125 feet. Our x dimension was 250 over 4 feet. Remember units because it's actually a word problem. And these dimensions of our, rec of our rectangle will give us the maximum area. So recap, to solve this problem, first we drew it out to see what they were telling us and what uh, they were asking us for. And then we found two equations that related our variables uh, so that we could solve for one, plug it into our other formula, and then solve for what they were looking for. Since we had a quadratic and asking for a max value, we just found our vertex, and that gave us the dimensions of our rectangle that give us the maximum area. I hope you found this video super helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what pre-cal class you're in, but in case you're interested, all the sections and problem numbers referenced in this video came from this lovely textbook right here. 
Remember that if you're a Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich at our Success Center. You can either schedule an appointment online or drop in during our business hours for free tutoring in pre-cal, calculus, and a whole lot of other subjects as well. For more information, visit our website.